All right, little moon doggies. Let's get into lesson three. Now, lesson three is about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, to do this lesson, you have to remember this equation, y equals mx plus b. That's the standard form of any line with two main variables, m and b. m is what we call our slope. So anything in front of the x will always be considered the slope. And b is what we call the y-intercept. Now, this isn't important for this lesson. What we're going to be focusing on is the slope. Okay? So this first one, we want to determine the slope of the line here. Now, since it's already in y equals mx plus b form, I know the slope is just equal to 5. All right? Now, here's a little tip. Because we're going to be finding perpendicular lines, just dropping it under 1 might help us out a little later. So let's just call this 5 over 1. Just drop a 1 under there. Now, we want to state the slope of a line perpendicular to this line. To find the perpendicular line, all we have to do is flip this and change the sign. So the perpendicular slope, okay, perpendicular, Euler slope, will be equal to negative 1 over 5. Just had to flip it and change the sign. That's all you got to do. For the second one, this is not yet in y equals mx plus b form. There's a 2 in front of the y. When I have a number in front of the y, I have to divide everything by that number. So I'm going to divide everything here by 2. Okay? Every single thing has to be divided. And when I divide everything by 2, I get y equals 3x minus 2. So for this one, my slope is going to be equal to what's in front of my x, 3. Now, like I said before, it just helps a little bit if we just drop a 1 under it. Now, to find the perpendicular slope, all right, all I have to do is flip it. So let's flip this around We're gonna, and change the sign. So the perpendicular slope would be equal to negative 1 third. This, ooh, getting a little complicated here. There's two problems with this. It's not, there's a number in front of the y, that's a problem. And we have 5x on the same side of this. The first thing we're going to have to do is get rid of this 5x. It can't be on the same side as the y. So we're going to add 5x to both sides. That's your first step here. All right? So we add 5x to both sides. When I do that, this cancels out. I bring down my 10y. And that equals, not 25, they're not like terms, 5x minus 20. Now I can divide by 10 because that's the number in front of y. I'm dividing everything by 10. And that gives me y equals, and I put this in the calculator to get 1 half x minus 2. That leaves me, if I'm looking at this, my slope is going to be equal to 1 half. Okay. And to find the perpendicular slope, all I have to do is flip it and change the sign. So the perpendicular slope, I'll just call it perpendicular slope, is negative 2 over 1. All right, for our final question, let's check this guy out. To start us off, remember, we have to get this x out of the way. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. We're subtracting 4x from both sides. Okay, this goes away. We bring down the 3y. And remember, these aren't like terms, so I can't actually subtract them. So it's just negative 4x plus 14. And now to um, solve for y, I just divide everything by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. Okay. And I get y equals. Now, this cannot be simplified. You can put in the calculator. You'll get the same thing, negative 4 thirds x. And this also can't be simplified. So don't put a decimal in. Just keep it as a fraction. If you put that in a calculator, that's exactly what you get. So our slope is equal to negative 4 over 3. And our perpendicular slope, we just flip it around, is 3 over 4. And that is it. That gives us our perpendicular, and that's all you's got. Sazu. So remember, students, never, ever, ever, ever touch a fork into an open socket. It'll electrocute you.